Hello everyone, KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts. Welcome back, and I want to show you something here that I think is going to appeal to a lot of ham radio operators, especially with a budget-friendly price. At $100, you're looking at, and more than just an SWR analyzer, more like an RF lab for your radio or your shack, and this is called the Antuino, made by HF Signals. They're the ones that make the Micro Bit X and the Bit X40. Now they have a $100 uh, complete RF lab here where you could test SWR on the antenna. You could test cable uh, losses and velocity factors. You could test, uh, use it as a signal source, use it as a field strength meter, plot your SWR or frequency response in your amplifier. And the best part is it is hackable. So the software is available online. You can add features to it to make it do what you want. Be more professional than I am and tell me how you could use this thing in your projects. Leave a comment below if you're an expert at this kind of stuff. But I'm going to show you for the new people that haven't seen this, I haven't seen it either. I haven't played with it. Gigaparts is letting me borrow one uh, uh, for testing and checking this thing out. But we're going to check this out and see in a snapshot, is this something that you'd be interested in? I think it's pretty interesting in a nutshell the way it is. The Antuino by HF Signals. Let's check it out. Let's get some batteries in it. So this takes six AA batteries. You could also power it externally with DC, but so far less batteries than my MFJ analyzer, although my MFJ has been working good for a while. But this one is a lot cheaper and does more things uh, than the MFJ. So uh, you just, there's the inside of the case if you wanted to see that, okay? Just pop that back on without pinching the wire, put the screws on, let's fire it up. Okay, we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna walk through some things. Now, I only looked at this thing for about three minutes. There's no manual that I looked at. Uh, I just wanna see, is it easy enough to understand now, one thing to say that the knob here is probably the only thing you have to put on, and I do not have that micro screwdriver to get in that hole for the set screw. So if this thing pops off in video, I am really a truly unprofessional ham. I don't have a micro precision screwdriver. But here's what we're looking at. The LCD screen here, not too bad to read. Uh, it's, it's a lot bigger than uh, a Zygu uh, XG90 uh, screen. It is rather easy to see, though. And a couple different modes, the knob here, left and right, and a push in the middle to click enter or select, okay? RF out and RF in SMAs on the right, those are um, female SMAs. And a USB port over here. So uh, we're, gonna, we're not sure much about that USB port, but I'm gonna guess. Anyways, let's do a couple things here. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna just see checking SWR of an antenna. So I have my super penetrator vertical uh, outside, which is a 10 meter antenna, which happens to be resonant on 20 uh, as a quarter wave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this up real quick uh, with this big old LMR 600 and an SMA adapter. And I'm just gonna check the SWR real quick on 20 meters to show you what it looks like, okay? So first thing we'll select here, we're gonna go down to uh, 14 megahertz. You see, just tune the frequency down, okay? Knob is pretty sensitive when you're turning. Okay. 14, where's that? 14 megahertz. Okay. 14.300. Now I'm going to go over here to SWR mode right there. I'm going to push enter. All right. Now it'll quickly first give me a snapshot of my SWR. And I could tune that frequency up and down and watch it. Or we can move this over like this and go to plot. Now I'm on a 10, uh, 10 megahertz span. I hit plot. Now watch. Uh, 10 megahertz span is going to show me real quick on 20 meters what the SWR looks like. And moving the knob here with the little cursor on top, I can see I'm looking pretty good at 13.2, which is a little high or a little uh, long for 20. But up here at 14.3, it's still a 2 to 1, you know, 1.8, 1.9 to 1. So it's okay to use it. It's a 10 meter antenna, but it happens to be resonant on 20. Now I can get a 25 megahertz spread or a 50 megahertz spread and see a maybe a multiband antenna, uh, what it looks like. Okay, so that's the quickest SWR uh, you know, sweep that you can see there. Now let's do this. Uh, we're gonna show you as in a field strength meter. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna hook up just a little HT antenna. And I'm gonna use a handheld, okay? And I'm gonna show you that, you know, the field strength meter is pretty cool. You can do this with HF, VHF, and uh, this thing will even work um, UHF, uh, the third order harmonic for 435 megahertz will work on here just with reduced sensitivity. So up to, uh, it's 10 kilohertz to 150 megahertz is really the designed operating range. So what we're gonna do now is we have this on here, I have an HT right here, okay? And I'm just going to go to a frequency 
like, um, oh, I just hit plot again. Whoops. Well, that antenna is not resonant on 20. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back up here to the frequency. And I'm going to go to 146.52. All right, we're just going to check something with a field strength meter. Now, a field strength meter, I haven't used one much, to be honest with you. And I have a really cool one that I'll show you one day. It must be an old military one. I'm not sure. Uh, but I have one, and I haven't messed with it too much. But if you're into making antennas, and you're into uh, checking front-to-back ratio, and uh, you want to test that kind of stuff, you could use this as basically a very apples to orange, uh, apples to oranges comparison on the signal strength coming off the front of your antenna versus the back and the sides. Okay, so we're gonna go to 146.52, and I'm gonna change this to the little power there. All right. Now you'll see I'm in DBM up here. Now watch, if I turn on my handheld and just transmit on very, very low power, you should see a signal. Um, it's not gonna really show me much with me doing it this way, but it'll give you an idea that it does work. KJ4, YZI, testing. It'll give you, you know, negative 22 DBM of signal, but then it'll show you, see, the farther you move away and, and the different orientation of the antenna gives you a different, you know, KJ4, YZI, testing, and nobody can hear me here in the house, so not on uh, 100 milliwatts, but I did ID for those who are gonna yell at me. So it gives you an idea, you know, when you're outside battery power, front to back, you can see, okay, I, I'm radiating just as much power off the front of my antenna as I am on the side. And that can kind of give you an idea of how you can construct your antenna. So let's go further than this now. Let's use it as a signal generator, um, which produces square waves to uh, use it as a signal generator. So we'll go back to, um, SWR here, but we're going to change the antenna to RF out. Okay, now, right now, 146.52, I don't know if you can see that, I'm transmitting and it's being received on this radio. Now I could use this as a signal source, whether I put it through a circuit and measure it on the RF in, or I want to use it to block out the neighbors and set it under their bedroom window so they can't get on the radio that night. Don't do that, that was a joke. Anyways, um, you could use it as a signal generator. Now, we could also do, which I don't have a piece short enough and nimble enough, I could use this for coax loss or velocity factor or velocity loss, uh, you know, going RF out to RF in and then setting this to the SNA. Now I could see the loss factor of my coax sends it, you know, the signal out, measures it on the in, and I could see my loss factor. So if you have a 100-foot piece of cable and you want to see the loss in that 100-foot, you can do it that way. You can also check the loss or frequency response of a active circuit that you're testing by sending this RF out into the circuit, measuring it on the RF in, you know, RF out to the circuit, out of the circuit, RF in, and then you can set it to plot and you can check the frequency response or the signal of that circuit on the RF inside, okay? So a lot of different things that you can do with this. And if you're more of an expert, um, these guys that build, you know, things with Arduino and stuff like that, I'm sure you have a lot of ideas on what you can do with this that I haven't even begun to show you. But for $100, to be able to have this power, because again, it is hackable. So with software that I'm not familiar with, and I don't see much on their website as far as the software that you can use this with, uh, you can probably connect this to the computer, upload some new Arduino code, or change stuff. So they give you these sources online. I'm looking here real quick on the computer. Um, you know, the, the entire Antuino circuit and the software are placed under GPL license on GitHub, and you can go find that if you're an Arduino uh, master. So, yeah, we talked about SWR, field strength meter, cable loss, RF cable velocity, modulation meter. If you wanted to connect a small whip like this uh, to the um, RF in, right? And then you could see, you could tune up and down on the frequency uh, to see how far your signal is uh, splattering off the side of, uh, or, you know, uh, if there's any harmonics or spurious emissions coming off, you can dial this up and see, you know, in the, uh, let's see, if we go to the power like that, okay? Now you can actually pick up signals as low as negative 90 dBm in the power mode, okay? And just a small whip or piece of wire, anything uh, on this. You can monitor your own signals, tune up and down, and, and uh, measure the splatter from distortion. So pretty cool stuff that you can do with this. Uh, six AA batteries, as I showed you, and uh, you can pick this up at Gigaparts. And Gigaparts was nice enough to give you a little discount if you wanted to uh, check the description under this video. Go down, 
Look at the description. There's a coupon code for Giga Parts that you can save a few bucks and get this thing in your hands for about a hundred bucks. So uh, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. A lot of you are already familiar with the Micro Bit X and the Bit X uh, from HF Signal. So what do you think about their Antuino? Let me know and let me know if you've already played with one. Comments are always appreciated down below and check out uh, anything on Facebook, you can leave comments there as well. 7-3 guys, thanks for watching. KJ4YZI.